Greetings, salutations. First time I think I've ever started a video whilst minimised down in the corner boy here. I think so anyway. I don't know at this point, but look, it's just a video very quickly to announce this little beauty that's just been released today. The Autodesk Vault mobile app on iOS only. Hmm. No Android version yet. Oof. For reasons I don't know why. But yeah, this is new toys to play with day. Uh, it's just been released and announced today by Autodesk. I've literally just got off the webinar where they've announced it, talked about it, give us a bit demo of it. So I, I don't know the full story to it. I don't know the full functionality. I don't know all the limitations, all the, the little niggles and nuances, uh, pitfalls. I, I don't know all of that yet. This is just to let you know that it's there. And if you want to go and play with it, you can do. So the full story with this is... It's not finished. <laughs> it's not its release preview. Why? I don't know. Why is it finished? Why is it not finished? I don't know why the release is not finished. But if you use it, it won't take up a license as of today. That's point number one. Point number two, it will only connect to a Vault professional server. If you've got Vault Basic or Vault Work Workgroups, it will not work. It has to connect into a Vault professional server. Uh, aside from that, just download it and go ham with it. You can play with it as much as you want. Uh, it's got all kinds of stuff inside it, though. It is it is pretty good. Uh, I, this is the Apple website. I can't even like maximize these pictures for some reason. And then when I zoom in on them, I, I can either go tiny or massive. Ah, ladies. And then that's, uh, yeah, I can't even fit the pictures on the screen. But this is what it looks like once you've logged into, your, don't forget, Vault Professional Server only. But once you're in on your iPhone or your iPad at this point, this is what the thin client or the web client should have been all along. But for reasons that I'll never understand and probably will never know, Autodesk just weren't able to or capable of making the web client any good. And this is what it should have been all along because now you can do things like uh, contribute towards change orders. You've got uh, state changes and things like that inside this mobile app. It's quite good by the looks of it. And it'll be even better once it's finished. So on the left-hand side here, you've got your navigation tools up at the top, uh, your folder structure over here. You've got properties and, and whatnot uh, there, you know, the typical stuff that you'd expect to see in Vault. Uh, as well as the pretty scroll bar, there it is. Right, uh, what's this one here? You've got analytics and things like that in here, like graphs and whatnot. I don't know what these actually show and, and what value you can extract from them, but hey, graphs always look good. Click in this little oblong thing here that will initiate a state change, which great for most, not so good and useful for those of us who've got custom jobs firing from state changes that require uh, like third-party apps. That's going to render using this totally useless for some people. Not everyone, but some people. And then you've got uh, yeah, the rest of it. I, I, I can't really comment much else on this. I, I haven't been in it to really evaluate it in its full scope this is just an announcement video to let you know it's there items there's your item master on the left hand side so all your items searchable everything's fully searchable it connects straight into the vault server so you've got your full sql search queries whether you can do stacked searches and all that kind of stuff i don't know yet i would imagine you can probably do quite uh, heavy searches with them uh, item state changes item properties item history item attachments pretty good uh, change orders on the next one ecos contribute to ecos change states you can comment see who's contributing to the eco and then you've also got things like scanning qr codes with the device camera how that then i don't i haven't quite worked out how the qr code links to the models yet i haven't figured that bit out yet it's probably very straight simple and straightforward but i just haven't looked at it yet uh, and then you've got a viewer here, which looks like the Autodesk viewer, based on what I saw, how it exploded. They've got that little drag slide bar and the model explodes. So that looks like it's Autodesk viewer technology built into the mobile app, which would make sense because it's a cloud viewer. This is a mobile app. Um, DW, enough of the DWFs, the Autodesk. Come on. Like, that's, like, nobody is developing the DWF file format anymore. Just, just stop with the DWFs, please. Enough already. Just let it die, please. Just let it die gracefully. Just sign it off and just move on. Just, just move on. But yeah, so that's it. That's the Vault Mobile app. 
Uh, links are in the description. There's also a couple of forums there if you want to go and ask questions or maybe put suggestions out. Good time to do that, actually. Uh, it's it's new. They're in super kino mode. So if you want to add ideas and suggestions, do that in the Vault Mobile app idea station and then they'll be picked up pretty quickly. And um, yeah, unfortunately, no Android version, which is a shame because I've got an Android phone. Uh, I do have an iPad as well, but yeah, it would have been nice to have seen an Android version. And, uh, and another negative that, that came out of this as well was that it doesn't support Windows authentication at the moment. So if your vault is set up for all your users to log in with Windows authentication, it doesn't work with that, which y you can't really just skip past that as being a, ah, well, that absolutely has to be done for this going live because any engineer who uses this, if you've got Windows authentication set up, they need to log into this with Windows authentication. You can't be setting up two accounts per user just for them to use the mobile app. So it's fine for non-regular Vault users who don't normally access Vault. You can create them a, a non-Windows account. It's just a regular Vault account to get into this. But anyone who is a regular Vault user and has a Windows account, we can't be creating two accounts for people, one for regular Vault, one for mobile app access. So Windows authentication, unfortunately, is not working at the moment. It's not there uh, and that is something that absolutely has to be ready for this to be. It's a deal breaker if it isn't there for day one of this being not like, production ready is what I'm saying. But anyway, links are in the description if you want to get at this. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much what this was all about. So thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff and you want to keep me going, keeping me at it, uh, consider joining the channel. Links in the description. Uh, support the channel. Get you into the Discord server where you can chat away and that's where I offload and talk about these kind of things, get ideas and feedback on videos and whatnot. So yeah, that's that. That was this. That's all I've got. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.